Hello, this is Lisa bringing to you 52 marketing and promotional ideas for your business. And today I am at the Garden Brasserie at Mutual Bay in Sydney. Sydney is one of the owners of Sebastian. Thanks, nice for, thanks for joining us. No you, you have got a very unique looking uh, place over here. Thank you. It's yeah. fantastic. Yeah. We work very hard at uh, creating a beautiful place. Yeah, that, a bar that looks like a garden. That's it, yeah. Yeah, so tell us a bit about your, uh, your business. How long have you guys been around? Okay, so Garden Brasserie has been open for about two years now. Mm -hmm. uh, the idea behind the concept was that we wanted to create a place that people could come and they could find the area to have food or drink, a combination of both. If they wanted to come in for a drink, then that's fine. Mm -hmm. If they wanted to come in for a meal with friends, that's also fine. Yeah. Um, we uh, started off with a big blank wall and we were thinking, well, what are we going to do with that? So uh -huh. we thought, well, let's chuck a garden there and that's where the idea branched from. Yeah, I remember you shared that with me yeah. and I thought that was awesome. And just for those of you who haven't seen that blank wall, we are going to show you. So come with me. <laughs> come. So, as you can see here, that wall was this big blank wall and the whole theme came from there. So, pretty cool, hey? So now that you had a great look at the place, um, Sebastian, what we do is on every episode we share a marketing ID and the viewers are people like yourself, business owners, people in charge of marketing for, for small businesses. And for the last few episodes, we've been focusing on talking about QR codes. There's been a lot of um, questions that our customers ask. So, hey, so what are ways that we can use QR codes? So we decided for, we dedicate 10 episodes just to give um, people 10 ideas on how to use it. So what we want to share today is about this code, okay. right? So, so with this QR code, one of the things that you can do, very often people put QR codes in their website, in their own establishments, but what you can actually do is you can partner up with local businesses and put the code at their location and what you want to do is you want to add something of value to that business owner to make it worthwhile for them to put the code there. So um, an idea how you can use this, for example, you know, you guys have a bar, you know, and people don't normally come and have one drink. If people come to have a few drinks, they're going to get some food, they're going to come to people. So, you know, a potential business partner you can have could be local um, hedges and salads. Yep. Right, you know, the ladies are getting their hair done, you know, they're talking to the get to the to the customer and go, hey, by the way, if you download you know this app and scan this code, then you can um, go to the garden grocery and get a complimentary glass of sparkling wine. So I'll show you how this could work. So I have this is our own lifestyle online um, mobile app. So right here. So now can you scan? Click on QR coupon for me. Excellent. So see how there's one that says complimentary glasses start on? Yep. Yeah, so you click on that. Stop it contact fingers, sorry. It's okay. There we go. So now I get you the whole hold the phone. Yep. Click on scan QR code. I mean so click on the QR oh, oops. Okay, click on Sankula. Yep. Just scare this for me. Cool. So what do you see there? Okay, congratulations, you have unlocked a new coupon. Uh -huh. Okay. Or yep. tell friends. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so now people who got their hair done can come in here and go, hey, I've got this. Yep. Sure, you know, and they'll come in with a friend and, you know, obviously they're going to spend more than just 
Nice and sparkling. So, right? Yeah, so so using this co and putting it in partner businesses, mm -hmm. you know, can can potentially bring more uh, more businesses to you guys, you know. So that's one of the another way that you can use a QR code is actually putting that code with your partner businesses rather than just yourself. So that but make sure that you're adding value to that to them, to that business, to make it worthwhile for them to put the QR code there. And then, uh, and then they will drive people to download your app um, and get getting people here. So, so hopefully, you know, you this idea for the QR code is useful for your business. And I hope you got something out of that as well. That's great. Yeah, you. cool. And if you want to get more marketing ideas, then stay tuned for other episodes. So, Sebastian, what we always do <laughs> at the end of every episode is we invite our guests to share something funny, whether it's a joke or something that happened at their business. So, have you got something for us? Alrighty. Okay, here we go. Uh, Alright, Lisa. Who is the best person to borrow money from? Tell me, I'm interested in knowing that. It's a pessimist. Okay. And that way, uh -huh. the only reason why uh -huh. is because they never expect to get their money back. <laughs> I have got a post on yeah. Facebook. Pessimist, please contact me. Yeah. <laughs> <Awesome>. Sorry. <laughs> There you go. Oh. <laughs> cool. Thank you so much Thanks very much, for Lisa. joining us. Really appreciate it. Um, and like I said, you know, want to get more marketing ideas? Stay tuned for the next episode. Bye bye. Bye.